You can find a 7 cubic meter vehicle. Sometimes if the vehicle doesn't vacuum garbage during daily operations, it should be collected again. The vehicle needs to be cleaned every day after each operation. The brushes need to be checked, and maintenance needs to be carried out. If these are not done, the suction will slow down. We must not operate the vehicle without water. If we do like that there's a risk of dust emission, we need to pay attention to the fuel, water level, and oil gauge daily. The water filter, we need to clean it regularly from here. The machine has pneumatic air cylinders, brushes, and blocks. It has pressure indicators. After emptying the rear door of daily garbage disposal, we need to wash the flap to ensure no trash remains under the seal. Maintenance of these parts is necessary. We switch on the engine, the screen appears, it is the engine pressure indicator, engine temperature and engine tachometer, here, we can manually or automatically adjust the speed. We can increase or minimize the engine speed, here, it shows that the fuel is not full, it also shows that the water is not full, also it indicates that the overstructure's water tank is not full. It gives a warning when the water runs out. It shows the dumpers going up and down. The warning from here for switch. Also a warning when the air filter is full. Here are the brush lights. The button on and off switch the brush outside. This button to lower the brush. Here is for lowering of the vacuum mouth. It's to lower of the middle brush. You can activate the fan from here. It opens the water system. It is open and close of suction mouth and flap. Here is the brush spinner. The two red ones here lift the rear damper. It opens back cover. There is only lift and open system from inside. There is no loading and closing. This is the machine control panel. From this control panel, we can lift the superstructure by this way. After lifting this equipment, we extract back cover again. And then the excess load, we open the back cover, we need to fully open to dispose the trash. In this way, the back cover. After opening the door, simply fill the inside of these seals with high pressure water. After removing the garbage can, we drop the safety stop. After dropping it, we set on its channel. You can't continue the process before the safety stop should be placed under it. The vehicle has a 200 bar high pressure water pump. This pump supports the water drum. It washes the rear door bin and all of the car with the water gun. Here is an electric water pump. This electric water pump supplies the water to the vacuum mouth and brushes. Here is an electric cabinet and pneumatic air systems. Electric panel, and it is pneumatic system. Here is conditioner, the air system. Each system operates the brushes. It operates the vacuum mouth. It has own function. There is also a diagram of this system here. You can look to the panel and see each of them function. Here is the vehicle brush system and a suction mouth. After removing the brushes from here you can attach a new brush in this way. We adjust the pressure of the brush from conditioner here. It's middle brush adjustment. The middle brush has two bolts. After removing it we pull out the middle brush, and then attaching the new brush, we place back here. Over time, the maintenance wheel's mouth and tires wear out, and at this time, they need to be replaced. 
We need to pay attention to the vacuum hose. If it is punctured or decayed, it needs to be replaced. Otherwise, the suction will decrease. Here are the flue filters. They need to be constantly checked and replaced. We have water valves here. The valve of our right brush and the valve of our vacuum mouth. The brush is provided by this valve. This suction provides its mouth with this. The valve provides the irrigation here. Here is a hand jack. If it's not working the superstructure we can operate the structure from here. We can do it by turning hand jack according to the arrow direction. This is the vehicle's fuel tank where the fuel is filled. It has a float here. You can read from this float that the fuel is not full. The battery is on top. Here we have hydraulic blocks. The hydraulic blocks indicated in the panel have circuits for the water pump, the opening and closing of the rear cover. Here are two pressure indicators, one indicator for these blocks, and the other is the bar indicator for the high pressure water pump. If a system is not working, you can see directly from this pressure indicator. Here we have a valve. When we open this valve and activate the high pressure hose, it performs fan washing. The function of this valve washing the vehicle's fan. Here is camera and its lighting. Here is the engine of the superstructure. It has a diesel filter and an oil filter. This valve to drain its oil, we remove this plug, open this valve and drain the engine oil from here. We place the engine's oil drain valve here. Since a cup cannot fit under the engine, we pulled it outside. During the daily maintenance check the engine oil dipstick. Also you can control from here that machine is full of water. When you fill it with water, you can see a filling indicator here. When you see that it is full, it drains from the overflows, you close this filling point again. One of the frequently asked questions is, when the vacuum is not working, what should we do? The first thing we should do is check if the sieve is clean and the flaps are open. Then, if there is anything there, they should check inside the vacuum flue. After then we will check the vacuum hoses. If something like a large object is stuck inside, it might not pass through, and not suction. If it is okay, the adjustment of the vacuum mouth will be checked. If the vacuum mouth is not lowering or not touching the ground, you should check it. Another issue is if the vehicle does not start or crank, you should first check the electrical switch on the left side. If the switch is open, and the battery is weak or done, it will be boosted with 24 volts. If it is not necessary we check electric panel from here. You should open the panel and check the electrical sockets. The vehicle's oil and hydraulic level indicator are inside the cabine. You can monitor it from here. If water is not coming to the brushes and vacuum mouth, the first thing we should check is water filter. If the filter is clogged or full, water cannot pass.